please watch your step. Hey friends, we are at Universal because we were sitting at the house and we pulled up our phone and we were looking at the app and we saw that the parks just aren't very busy. I don't know if you used to do that, like when we didn't live here, we would look at the wait times and just be sad when we saw Men in Black at like a 10 minute wait <laughs> here. But now we do live here and we haven't really had just like a universal day. A day where we just come over here and hang out and not really have anything to do. We normally just come with a plan. But today, we're just gonna kind of wing it. Yeah, there's some new food that we're gonna check out. There's some rides we wanna ride, but we're just gonna hang out with you guys and have a great day. It's Scooby and the gang. I'm gonna go get a hug. Oh, I like her hair. Hey, what's up? Oh, like I love her. Oh, delicious. Like, is that your favorite cereal? Oh, man. Oh, oh, like, so it's no way, man. They make it. Thank you. I was literally just about to say that we came down Hollywood Boulevard to see characters, and then there weren't any characters, and then Scooby and the gang ran out. They're absolutely adorable. I actually like headbutted Scooby-Doo with one of my space buns on accident, but he's all good. And then Marilyn just came out. Like, this is the place to meet characters. They always put the biggest smile on my face. Guys, this is officially the best day ever. I just got to hug Scooby-Doo, and now Squidward and Patrick are over there. I don't care how long this line is, I'm getting in it. Okay, I promise, like, this wasn't supposed to be a character, like, vlog. We're not just going around meeting characters, but these are some of my favorites. And there's, like, no line. Normally, when you see the SpongeBob characters out, like, you come over here to where the line is, and it's cut off half the time. But uh, today, it's not like that at all, so I gotta go see my favorites. <laughs> If you had asked me this morning, like what two characters at the parks I would want to meet out of everybody here, I would have said Scooby-Doo and Squidward. So that's amazing that we saw both of them. And Squidward is like so cute. He's always so grumpy. And then when you give him attention, it makes him so happy. It is adorable. Since we're over here, you know what we got to do. Puts a smile on my face every single time. Uh, that's the first time that we've ridden it since they had the construction walls up and they yeah. and they rerouted it. Yeah, you like go through part of the queue and then out and then You're back in. Back. Yeah, it's confusing. And I had <laughs> the last time, honestly, the the only time that I remember, it's been forever since they used that like extended queue. Yeah. I know most of the time I guess we go through Express because we do it after four. Yeah. But. The, it just reminded me of HHN. Yeah, uh, like, being like back there. Being in that little queue, that extended area. Yes. <laughs> Speaking of HHN, <laughs> it's not really an update or anything. We were talking once we got off the ride. You know how big of like a, it'd just be a, a cult classic. Like how much of a fan favorite would it be, would it be if they did a, uh, an ET house? Oh so my gosh, So you have Magdal, Ma Magdal chasing you around. <laughs> it's like, welcome home. You've arrived. Like, <laughs> you could just have like so many just good moments. I'm obviously, here for it. I'm obviously, so here for that's, it. Obviously, that's not going to happen. Uh, <laughs> but these two new uh, booths. Yeah, they the, sell, like merchandise cards. They or sell whatever. ET stuff, and it, and it hit me why these are here. Because there's not a store. Right, you don't exit through the. Yeah, yeah they've got it all like there's, messed there's up. Not, there's not, there's not a gift shop, so yeah. they got to. Get your ET stuff out here. You can get your ET plush right out here. Speaking of HHN, at the end of ET right there, when you're supposed to be like transporting, like teleporting back to Earth, and they like shoot fog in your face, it was so thick. And normally I can't smell the fog because I don't have a great sense of smell, but I smelled it that time. I smelled it. It was good. We're always talking about playing the little carnival games over here because they're fun. Like, look at this little rat. Like, why does he have it harder than all the rest of them? Like, does everybody just bully that rat? It's crazy how empty the parks feel right now. It's yep. it's really nice. This sort of reminds me of when we used to come down, like random off-season yes. times, and oh, just like the best. have a good time. And then this area, 
person in right now. <laughs> There's no food booths or anything? So much room for activity. So much room. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just weird when there's like nothing going on in the parks and there's like no food booths and there's just not a lot of people. I know. It just seems, I don't know, the parks feel small sometimes when you have all that stuff going on because yeah. there's so many people. But then when nothing's going on, you're like, oh, there's actually just a ton of room here. Uh, I think we're going to skip Men in Black yeah. for today. Anna decided, didn't want any of that action yeah that's fine. <laughs> yeah that one and and then we're gonna uh, I, th I guess we'll grab a butterbeer yeah we haven't had a normal butterbeer a frozen butterbeer yeah. not a normal uh, in a while <laughs> that's our normal yeah we, we had a hot one I think on Easter yeah because that was the last like kind of chilly day yeah, yeah we had so we had to get one in we had that hot <laughs> butterbeer but we're gonna have a frozen butterbeer probably ride Gringotts mm -hmm. and then we have like a 3.30 yes. reservation over at Confisco's uh, they have some pass holder food that I'm super excited about, so let's go do it. Green Cots is 25 minutes. Like, there were a bunch of people when, like, we walked in to Diagon Alley, so I thought it might be a little bit longer. 25. Two, five. Somebody just came out and set up the microphones for Celestina Warbeck, so that means it's time for Butterbeer and a show. Serious business. Butterbeer, Celestino Warbeck, Green Gods. I know we've said it in a million videos, and we've said it a million times, but Diagon Alley is truly just perfect. Yes. I mean, it is, I don't know, we've probably went in there over a hundred times at this point. And every single time, I, like, I find myself oohing and on over everything. It's so immersive, the details are gorgeous. I could spend all day in there. Like, we spent way longer than we meant to in there. <laughs> and like I said, we're here all the time. Yep. It's just so incredibly breathtaking. I love every little detail. Yeah, it's nice and shady too, so it's always a little bit cooler than it is like in the rest of the park. Earlier when we were at the SpongeBob store pants, there was a team member that took some photos that I just have to have. And she gave me the little card, but it's not like updating on my app for some reason. So before we head over to Islands, I'm gonna run in this photo store and hopefully get that fixed. <laughs> some great music over here by the Fast and Furious. Oh, by the way, guys, uh, I mean, you've already seen it. She was sitting there dancing, so I'll go ahead and put that in. She had no idea I was recording. <laughs> Thank you, thank you for that. Uh, but they would not let me, well, they didn't have the ability to attach them at the amazing pictures, which kind of shocks me, cause like it's a photo place, but they said you gotta go to the front of the park. So that's where we're headed. Pit stop, Transformers is like a 10 minute ride and I can't even remember the last time we rode it. It really has been forever. Uh, I have to say something. So when you're standing in a queue and it's got buttons, I'm gonna press them if, it, if they're in reach and they're supposed to be pressed, but those don't seem to do anything. But like in other queues, like the mummy or whatever, you know, the buttons do stuff. I always have this weird feeling in the back of my head. There's like a team member or an Autobot. I've gotta show you this here in a second. I just got distracted, I'm sorry. I haven't seen that character here in forever. Um, but I feel like there's a team member or an Autobot that's in a room somewhere just getting like sprayed with water or something. Or like, you know, the air cannons, just getting terrified. They're sitting there like, what's the answer to number four? And just every time we press a button, just spraying them with air so they can't. <laughs> so it's Alex the Lion from Madagascar. I don't think I've ever seen him at the parks. And I was afraid that he was like going backstage and we weren't gonna get to see him. But he was like pawing at my space bun. He's so cute. The adventure begins with some food. Yeah. We just got seated at Confisco's and the view from this patio is 
unbelievable. I'm so excited to like eat right here. We got the perfect table. But there are some like pass holder appreciation things going on right now. And one of the things is like priority seating at Confisco's. And so you get to sit up here in the upstairs and if you ask and they have availability, they'll even put you out on this balcony where you have this gorgeous view. And they also have some pass holder exclusive menu items that we cannot wait to try. There's actually just one pass holder exclusive food item here at Confisco's, but there are several like at other restaurants. So all of the sit down restaurants inside Islands of Adventure and Universal Studios have a pass holder exclusive item. Some of the City Walk restaurants also do, and some of the hotels do right now. And this is just running through the month of May. So if you wanna check out some of these exclusive food items, do it before they're gone. I don't know if you remember, um, some of you may remember too, it was a pass holder exclusive that we got here the last time, right? It was like the uh, risotto. So like, it was like the wild mushroom uh, braised beef risotto or whatever. Is that right? Something like that. That was here, wasn't it? Yeah, I it think It was so. so good. Yeah. A lot of times the, the pass holder like exclusives, mm -hmm. they're delicious. There's been a few like over the years where I just wish they would keep them as like a full-time menu item. Because I, I, I try to remember what it was. We came, which I, I can't remember. Maybe is it Finnegan's or something? We went and got it like four or five times. Yeah. That's all I remember. I, mm -hmm. I can't remember what it was. If I think about it, I'll let y'all. So these are the Wagyu sliders. It's the pass holder exclusive this month. These things look amazing. Like they're so cute. It looks so good. There's brie cheese in there with onions. Like this is so up my alley. I'm so excited. And the fries, it just said like normal fries on the menu. These are porn fries. I know these are porn fries. Let them stick out. I don't bite that. Okay, the burger is like very salty, but in a good way. There's a lot of flavor there. There's also like some peach chutney or something on it. So there's a nice little bit of like sweetness that it needs. It pairs well with the like caramelized onions. This is really good. It did come with this little like mustard aioli over here. I like aioli, not crazy about mustard. It's a little too vinegary for me. So I'll try a little bit of it, but I am happy that it came on the side. Also sort of tastes like the burger that we used to have back in at home mm -hmm. from uh, Father Tom's. Yeah. Yeah, and, and y'all don't know what Father Tom's is. It's a good uh, burger though. It's a really good burger, yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna hang out and enjoy the views for a minute. So when you walk into like the lobby of Confisco's and you look up, there's two like shelves way up high and they have like some Easter eggs from different areas of the park. And I've never noticed that like when you come up here, you can see them like right here. There's a cat in a hat hat. If you like lean backwards, which you probably shouldn't do, <laughs> there's like a Marvel character over there and there's more Sue stuff behind me too. I'm sitting here really racking my brain and trying to decide if we have ever had a meal that we weren't happy with at Confisco's. Like, no, I don't know that we've ever had a meal that we weren't like very, very happy with at Confisco's. Like yeah. they don't miss. No, th the burgers were slightly expensive. Yeah. I think it was 18 with our discount is 16 something, but yeah. slightly expensive, but they were so good. Yes. I, I, that like, that charred out, I don't know. There was, like I said, there was something very nostalgic about it. Yes. And we come over here, we don't eat here enough. No. Like everybody talks about uh, Mythos and I, I just, I think this is my go-to place over here for like sit down. Oh, I know, I love Confisco's. And if you like forget to make a reservation or something oh, yeah. and they're all booked up, a little bit of a hack, the Backwater Bar, which is attached to Confisco's, they serve the exact same menu. So if you can't get a reservation, try to find a table at the bar. We had to get this for science. So the other day at the new like food booth in Marvel, we tried their lemon slush and strawberry slush and they were delicious, we loved them. But somebody in the comment section was like, that looks like the exact same thing at the lemon slush stand. Have you had that? No, it, we hadn't. It, it does look like the exact same <laughs> it thing. It does, it looks like the exact same thing. So we had to try for science. So you guys know if it's something different and like you need to try both or if you can just get away with one. Purely, purely data driven. Yes, data driven, 100%. It's the exact same thing. This is 100% the exact same thing. This one, I think they had like pre-scooped it. So like it's a little hard on top where it's like frozen, but identical. Same thing. Uh, that got me thinking though. Yeah. 
because I know we're wanting to ride Cat in the Hat. Uh-huh. Yeah, we, we said that sentence. We want to ride Cat in the Hat. <laughs> um, we heard some devastating news that I'm going to go check real quick. You can stay here and eat that. Okay. <laughs> I'll be right back. Anna's not going to be happy about this. The rumors are true. They got rid of the chorizo dog. Why? That thing was so good. It was. That hurts my feelings. That's literally the only hot dog in the park that I would eat, and now it's gone. I guess the only thing they can make up for that chorizo dog not being here is going to hang out with a deranged cat for a few minutes. I feel like we were swindled. We thought it was like this new thing. It's been here the whole time. Hey, I got a question. Yeah. Is this AC as good as Men in Black? At least. Like, it is so, like, it's not even that hot outside today, but it feels incredible in here. It's almost cold. <laughs> sit there yeah okay uh, did, <laughs> did you hear the uh did you hear the kid in front of us no. so there's like it's an adorable family in front of us yes yeah. two little kids mm -hmm. and we go to the room where uh thing one and thing two pop out yeah and when it popped out the kid goes ah <laughs> and, and, that's and, the correct and, response and all i was all i was sitting there thinking was like same same same, same, same thing but like <laughs> Like, you, you'd be afraid of that thing, because you should be. <laughs> you should be. They're terrifying. <laughs> Nightmare fuel. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> I like it. I was just trying to get, like, a cinematic shot of you walking out. <laughs> That's terrifying. Oh, we should go see if they have any more of the Poseidon Shuri shirts. Not looking good. So this little store, just in front of Poseidon's Fury, if you don't know, Poseidon's Fury is closing uh, in like four days. Forever. It, forever. Uh, not just like for a refurb or anything like that. And they released a shirt, and it's a great looking shirt. Yes, we love it. Uh, we got a couple. They don't have them right now. Uh, they have sold out twice. Yeah. They've been like kind of the, all the rage, like all the, all the cult kids are doing it or whatever, you know. <laughs> They've been, everybody's been wanting that shirt. Yeah. And they've sold out twice. In my opinion, I don't know anything. I'll put some like B-roll of the shirt so y'all can see why everybody likes it because it's a great shirt. Oh, it's cool. It's a really my, cool shirt. In my opinion, if they've sold out twice, they've got they're gonna put out more. Yeah. Uh, I think a lot of people are like really upset. Yeah. I wouldn't worry about it too much. No, um, they'd be crazy not to because yeah. like their whole purpose here, like they want to make money. Yeah. And if people are going nuts over this shirt, they're gonna get more. And stock. this this store has done like more business in the last three days. Than it's probably ever done yeah so. like in its history of existence <laughs> i mean that's just a guess but i, I would assume <laughs> there are going to be more shirts yeah so unfortunately king julian is not here to perform i like i've got to find him soon and i have to record the whole thing because in a previous video i said if y'all really wanted me to i'd like memorize the entire dance and come like do it along with him one day but the problem is i can't find the entire sequence online anywhere like people have parts of it like tyler recorded part of it that day but not the entire thing so i'm gonna have to like catch it one day and film it and then learn it uh, sorry <laughs> Sorry, a little off camera, uh, something, but I don't think we're gonna let you out of the dance. Like tomorrow, <laughs> while I'm editing, you can come over here and just uh, just record that. Yay! Uh, that that's gonna be so embarrassing. <laughs> like, it's, it's I, like I'm the reason I do like my little shoulder shuffle is because like that's all I got. I'm not a great dancer. It's okay. Um, you shuffle sh shoulder shuffle your way through that. Oh, well, it's I, gonna be so embarrassing. I think Haggers is only like a like a 50 minute thing. Ooh. The old pizza, good to see. Oh, it's 60. That's way too much. <laughs> Hagrid's was wonderful as always. We used those rubies that we had. We need to find a way to get more of those. Uh, <laughs> like, we need to get stuck on a ride at some in, point. Infinite rubies would be... Okay. I mean, Universal hit us up. <laughs> I don't know what we could do for you. But infinite rubies. 
we're here for it. It, it took us like 10 minutes. Yeah, like, it, it was, was great. It was so fast. This is the fastest nice. I've ever gotten on that ride in my life. It, it was wonderful. It was uh, just so good. It's just, it's just so much fun. I think I've convinced Anna to do something tonight that Anna doesn't normally uh, allow us to do. So uh, we're going to go get on a water ride. I have convinced her. I'm going to wait like a few minutes. Sun's going down. <laughs> Let it get kind of dark and <laughs> then get on Jurassic Park. That way we just freeze. It's, it's warm enough. We'll be fine. I'm actually shocked that you agreed to that. I kind of am as well, um, but you know, I said it. So, I mean, the park's closed in like an hour and a half, so like at worst, we're only gonna be here another like hour and a half. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something like that. Um, I did want to mention, so when we were walking through, of course this won't be an issue if you're coming in like two weeks, but if you're coming in the next week, it could be an issue. And if you're coming after they get it reopened. Anyways, so when you walk through Hogsmeade over coming into Jurassic Park World, thing <laughs> they'll put up a barrier as it gets close to dark because yeah. they're about to run the hogwarts castle light show yes and you can enter that way mm -hmm. but you can't get back to hogsman that way so if you're wanting to see the nighttime show yeah. and you you're gonna have to like walk down by velocity coaster across out, the bridge across the bridge out to lost continent and then back out and then back it. up yeah because you can't enter back that way it was yeah. just something i hadn't thought about in a long time but i saw it i figured some of you might want to know yeah, and then after the ninth, it won't be relevant for a while because it's going down for a refurb. But if you're here before May 10th. Or after it comes back up. It's relevant. Came over here to the splash zone. That were really, like, I'm barely wet. That really wasn't yeah. that bad. I'm, like, not wet at all. There was a pretty tall guy. We were in the second row, and he was in the front row right he in front right of me. got behind him. And he just, like, shielded me from all I of the I looked over there, perfect. and this guy's just getting blasted. <laughs> and, and actually, it, I don't think anybody got that wet in our car because it wasn't... I have a theory that when the the boats are full, yeah, it, I think people get wetter. Yeah, so, like, when they're heavier... Oh, there it goes. Oh, there's a heavy boat. Those there's, people are wet. <laughs> yeah, when there's more weight in the boat, it like pushes it down into the water that, more. That's our theory. Causing more of a splash. That's our theory because like there were two people ahead of us. Mm -hmm. That was all that was in that row. Then we Just, were the only two people in our row. Yeah. And I barely, I barely got wet. I was a little sad that our friend was missing though. So the very first dinosaur you see, I don't even know what they're called. They're like the popular dinosaurs with long necks. You know, the yeah. tall ones. Yeah, the big one. The long neckosaurus, like those things. <laughs> He was behind a what? Um, he was behind a box, yeah, like, he was like, or, like inside behind of construction a box, walls yeah. or whatever. He probably needs it because the last time I saw him, he was just like. Eh. But yeah, his neck was <laughs> moving. It's kind of sad. I just hope he comes back. I don't know. I don't know if there's a more beautiful sunset. Like the way that it's set in behind the castle, it's just it is absolutely beautiful out here. And something I, I, I guess I've never noticed, and it's kind of sad because it'll be gone in less than a week. Okay. The trident. Like you can just sort of see the trident. Right. I don't know if y'all can never... see it. Y'all can. Yeah. Right. Right there. I'll Somewhere put. There. I'll put something. Right there. <laughs> I've never noticed that either because I always look at like the castle and yeah. now Velocicoaster and You got like the that. silhouette or everything. So it's pretty. It's so beautiful. Had to pause for the Hulk because. It gets loud right here uh, when the Hulk runs. But thanks for hanging out, guys. We love doing these type of videos, and we hope that you enjoy them too. And thank you guys for allowing us to come over here and do these type of videos. I know that they're not the, I don't know, purposeful videos that y'all are used to, but we truly do enjoy having days like we used to have over here where yes. we just don't have a plan, come over here, and have a great time. But if you want to check out some things that you may not know about at the parks, check out this video right here, and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye. Hit the like button. Bye. <laughs>